wire connectors. You have a lot of different choices. Let's get into it. If you're a newer DIYer with electrical work, at some point you are going to need wire connectors. Let's start off with never ever do this. This is electrical tape wrapped around two wires. That's a loose, horrible connection. That's a fire hazard ready to go. Electrical tape is nothing more than vinyl PVC tape. It does come in every color you can think of. It's easy to use, but you're supposed to use it to secure electrical connections after the fact or wrap them around outlets. Don't use them as the sole connector. Now, when you're connecting wires, it is okay to mix and match different wire connectors. You have a lot of choices. There's no reason why you can't use different ones in the same work box. That's totally fine. Now, let's look at the traditional electrical caps or nuts, whatever you want to call them. They are cheap and inexpensive and easy to find. So that's a good positive for that. Here they come in different sizes and the colors just mean the different sizes. Smaller wires, maybe one or two wires, larger wires, and then really large wires, maybe up to uh, multiple connections. They are easy to use. They are simply going to twist lock onto any wiring connection. A lot of people like to take their wire, wire pliers and pre-twist. You do not have to. The manufacturer says it is completely acceptable to just start twisting and let the nut do the work for you. Some uh, new people are intimidated. That's not going to be a good solid connection. So if you want, you certainly could pre-twist. And then you're going to give the end a little bit of a snip so it's the same length. And then when you put your electrical cap on there, that will bite nice and tight and be a secured fit for you. I have no problems with these plastic traditional electrical caps. They do have a little bit of metal on the inside that helps bond the wires together. Some people do find electrical uh, caps or nuts difficult to work with. They're not sure if they get a solid connection. Um, sometimes when you unscrew it, you notice the wires actually weren't together at all. Let's show you an easier way. If this is a good, better, best method, I would say the better are going to be these uh, quick, ideal, manufactured push connectors. So they come in different colors, as you see here. You have smaller to larger wires. You have connections from two wires all the way up to four wires. I think they make a five wire option. All these links are in the video description below if you want to see how much these cost. Now, you are going to pay more for these for ease of use over the traditional electrical nuts, but they are well worth your time. Let's do a demonstration that we had to connect these two wires and we're gonna use the two push connector. You literally just push these in. You push them right in and you actually feel it snap. There you go. That's a good tight connection. They have the clear glass, well plastic in this case, so you can see that your wire went right up to the end, which is what you want. And that's a good solid connection. It's nice and tight. They have no concerns with that. That is really easy for do-it-yourselfers for new people. Um, a drawback on this one is I can't remove them. Now, they say, I think if you put a screwdriver in the ends here, you can actually pull and re release them. I've never had luck with that. And when I forced it, I, I damaged the wire. But they are an easy option, but I think they're a one and done, one connection only. If you want to spend just a little bit more, you can upgrade to the Wago. That's W-A-G-O. These are highly engineered electrical connectors. They come in two, three, and a five wire option. Look at this. You can up to five different wires all bonded together. They have a simple lever lock system. When you open these up, you're simply going to insert your wire all the way in and then snap lock it down and it's a nice tight fit. You can see the clear end to make sure you're wiring it right to the end. But a real big pro on these is that they're so easy to work with and adjustable. If you make a mistake and you need to reposition something, you're simply going to lift those levers up. They're going to pop right back off and you can adjust or change whatever your connection is. And they also now have these extender, wire splicer extenders. Say you're working an electrical box and the old wiring is too short. Insert the extender, clamp it on, have your new piece of wire ready to go, and then lock that in place. And you have your new wire extended ready to go, ready to continue uh, installing your light switch or your outlet, whatever the case. So in my opinion, you have a good, better, best model here. Traditional, cheap, easy to find anywhere. Modern, 
push connectors that are so easy to use. Nobody will be intimidated by that. And then you have the highly engineered, I believe they're made in Germany, these Wago wire connectors, easy to remove and reposition anytime you want. Video links are in the description. Click on the links. Let me know your opinion. If you think the traditional is best or it's time to go to the easy push connectors for electrical wiring, I want to know what you're thinking. Hey, I know you can do it yourself.